Okay, friends, how are you today? Aaron Michael Eschenberg here, bringing your daily horoscope for Thursday, the 9th of May. Hopefully you had an amazing Wednesday, full of self-love and positive affirmations and all kinds of good vibes and good feelings, right? The lesson of today is no manure, no magic. No manure, no magic. Thanks so much for tuning in today, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. No, this, that could be the whole that could be the whole video today. No manure, no magic. Now the great thing is we've already been dealing with the manure. We've all been feeling the manure, all right, for maybe a couple of weeks, maybe last month. Things lighten up a lot Thursday on the 9th. Why? One, we have an exact trine between Venus and Aries, fire sign, self, Aries, Venus, love, everything I love. So it's like love, self. Perfect trine, 23 degrees to Jupiter up in Sagittarius, which is all about the journey, the adventure, the travel, the education, the knowledge, the higher thinking, the philosophy, and the faith. The faith in oneself. So when we have faith in self, when we have when we have faith in self and we're seeking adventure, we're seeking, we're traveling, we're doing things. Not just, we don't have to travel like, oh, I'm going to go to Cancun. It's like, no, you can literally just go go to a park, go, you know, just adventure. You can adventure in your own freaking yard and, you know, try to find some morals or some beautiful mushrooms. Um, uh, so it's like going out there, as long as we're going out, it could be even going out and reading a book because this is about education still. And that's going to give us the fuel that we need for ourselves to give us that self-love, the self-care that we really need. Now check this out. There's also, this is the craziest sextile I've seen in a hot minute. All right, check this out. This is going, this is going halfway around, or more than halfway around the zodiac, okay? So Saturn is creating a sextile. So Saturn, the, the south node and Pluto creating a sextile to Neptune. Neptune creating a perfect sextile to the sun. Neptune is in Pisces, water sign, so earth to water. Water creating a perfect sextile, 18 degrees, Neptune in Pisces, 18 degrees, the sun in Taurus earth sign then at 1 2 p.m on thursday the moon will be at 18 degrees and the north node is at 20 degrees cancer water earth water earth okay so let me show you what that looks like here because it's pretty wild Pew. hit the button there it is okay <laughs> so right here jupiter sagittarius down here venus in Aries, okay? So this is all this education, self-love, self-knowledge. We're growing, we're expanding, right? And now here's the bad boys up top, making sure we're changing stuff. We're not going back to this old life. A lot of changes coming our way. Creating this sextile, do, 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 this dotted line, perfect to Neptune, dreamy Neptune, okay? No one can tell you your dreams. No one can tell you how to think. No one can tell you, you know, your ideas or your concepts. This is the intangible, okay? And then, now, so we have the dreams being perfected by Saturn, being transformed by Pluto. And also with the south node here, what is not working out is being let go of, okay? Because we're going here, right? So we're letting go, we're creating new, perfect, transformative dreams. We don't even know, you know, we, let me, let me come back here for a second. Like you don't even know the amount of love that you're going to receive in the future. You have no idea what you're in for. You have no idea, like, the, the warm, good feels that are coming your way. <laughs> you have no idea. So accept that. Accept that you don't know. You know, so it's not, this is not a day where it's just like, oh, I've been down this road before, or I've been down a similar road, so there's no point in going down here. Well, guess what? At the end of this dead-end road, there's not just a cul-de-sac and a couple of houses. There's a whole meadow and fields and, you know, beautiful mushrooms and flowers and trees and birds and rabbits and squirrels and all this, you know, beautiful nature and life waiting for you at this dead end street. So it's like, don't judge today, you know, go out and adventure. Maybe you don't know what's at the end of this rabbit hole. And then further, you know, Saturn is, is perfection. Pluto is transformation. Neptune is our dreams. In the sign of Capricorn, this is about government governing ourselves specifically you know i mean like in the big picture we're talking about you know the change of government and especially what's going on well, it, it worldly not just here in america governments are changing across the globe you know this is not just in the united states but in our personal lives as well so that's what we're talking about when we talk about this this is our personal lives so we have the way that we govern ourselves the strict way that we were the way we wake up in the morning open our eyes are we you know we rub our hands and, and send some love into our eyes do we do we grab our phone 
and check social media? Hopefully not. Not a great way to wake up. But I do it more often than I appreciate. Anyway, back to this. So we're changing things. We're changing things. We're changing our daily, you know, our daily routines, our discipline. Okay. And with this, like we might be dragging feet a little bit at first, maybe a lot of it. Be honest with yourself. We might be dragging feet a little bit or a lot of it, but the results are going to pay off. And it's just like all of a sudden you're going to be like, oh my God, I feel so good. I feel so alive. I feel so great. I feel so loved. I feel so whole. I feel so complete. Let's go back. I feel so loved. I feel so loving. I have so much love to give. All right. So let's go back to this, Charlotte. So what's going on here? All right. So look at this. This is all this cool stuff up here. You know, this is the government. This is the transformation. This is our dreams. Because again, you have no idea all the good stuff you're in for. You just don't. You haven't seen the best yet. You haven't seen the best yet. There's a lot more good coming. Okay. So, and then this, so sextile, boom to Neptune, sextile down here, perfect, 18 degrees, 18 degrees to the sun, and then do, 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 boom, this sextile here. So this is more than, no, this is, excuse me, this is half the zodiac, okay, from Cancer to Capricorn. This is half the zodiac, more than half, one, two, three, four, five. So this is seven signs. So we have a sextile 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 that's that's wild i mean that's absolutely wild so then to, to complete this the sun and self the sun is our ego expression so we have this transformation in our dreams and this is connecting with our self-expression and our emotions further so <laughs> this is this is i mean it, it's an incredible it's an absolutely incredible day i don't even want to talk i just want you to go live the best day you possibly can you know what could be that what could be our motto for the day the best is yet to come how can this get better that's from my boy Aaron Sudo. When we were in Costa Rica, every day he used to say, how can it get better? How can this keep getting better? So maybe that's our motto for the day. How can this keep getting better? And <laughs> just watch. It's going to. It's going to keep unfolding. It's going to surprise you left and right. Left and right. It's going to be a great day. Enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow.